We serve the automotive industry as well as aerospace, general lighting, basically any company that makes or manufactures equipment that emits light and needs to measure that light. I'm the Midwest and Northeast Regional Sales Manager for Konica Minolta Sensing, Radiometric Product Division, and Instrument System Products. What sets Konica Minolta instruments apart from our competitors? Look at our history, you know, there's a, a lineage to our equipment that goes back and there's a philosophy of quality that goes into our products, I think, that's unmatched. We have master technicians that assemble these instruments, and we're hand-choosing the best parts, and there is a level of quality that, that goes into the assembly and testing of these. I feel that that's really unique to our product. Konica Minolta Sensing really has products for every stage of the development process of a light source. For the research and development, we have CS2000, which is a very accurate uh, spectroradiometer. So the CS2000 can really be considered the heart or the center of any R&D lab. Other instruments can be verified against it or even calibrated against the CS2000. Moving down through production, we offer the CA310, which is capable of 20 measurements a second for luminance and color. If you need to take any sort of a field verification with the CS150-160 and the LS150-160, there's improvements with accuracy, ergonomics, connectivity, and software. So these are very portable, very accurate meters that really are meant to last for decades. Typically, illuminance meters are a very common application for research and development or quality control, you know, illuminance meters really can play a role through any of those functions. So we offer the T10A for just luminance. We have a CL200A for luminance and color. And we have a CL500A, which is a, a spectral-based illuminance and color meter. Now the CL500A is interesting because it is a very durable, industrial-grade, handheld spectrometer. These things are really meant to be used in the field. They're incredibly robust. The data and accuracy that you can achieve for LEDs, uh, monochromatic LEDs, is, is really um, unbelievable. Typical light meters that were used in the past may not be accurate or enough to sort of capture the new LED lights that are being used today.